കേരള നോൺ ആസ് ഗോഡ്സ് ഓൺ കൺട്രി ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ലാൻഡ് ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് ദ സൗത്ത് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ വിച്ച് ഈസ് ബ്ലെസ്ഡ് വിത്ത് മൗണ്ടൈൻസ് റിവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് കോസ്റ്റൽ ഏരിയ So the diverse landscape itself makes Kerala something special and it is one of the best attractive tourist locations in India. So the landscape and weather makes Kerala a best place for the agriculture. The farmers in Kerala are cultivating different kinds of crops. Kerala is known as one of the largest rubber producing states in India. So today we are going to have a look into the rubber plantations of Kerala. We are going to see how rubber is producing from the rubber trees. And rubber is using for making tire, chappal and even for making condoms for controlling the birth of unwanted fellows. So guys, let's have a look into how rubber is producing. So guys, before starting the video, please make sure you have subscribed the channel. The process of making natural rubber starts early in the morning when the farmers are getting into the plantations for tapping the rubber trees. Rubber tapping is the process by which rubber latex is collected from a rubber tree. Rubber tapping is a job which needs special skills and tools each and every tree needs to slice to groove with specific depth and width so guys let's have a look into the tools that we are using for collecting the rubber latex this is a specially made knife that is used by farmers in Kerala for rubber tapping. This knife comes with curved sharp edges on both sides. So that means the day starts with sharpening the knife. And the plastic cups are using for collecting the rubber latex. And the gutters are using for flowing the rubber latex straight into the cups. So after 2 to 3 hours the cups will get filled with rubber latex and the farmers will collect that for processing. So as we all know Kerala is blessed with monsoon and plenty of rain. So during the monsoon the farmers will use the shades on the tree for collecting the rubber latex. The plastic shades on the trees will help the farmers for keeping the rubber latex safe from the rain. That means having shades is the only option for uninterrupted tapping during the rainy season. Farmers can harvest latex from a tree for around 25 to 30 years. After that replantation will happen. During replantation intermediate crops like pineapple and plantain can grow with the rubber plants. So now let's look into how the rubber latex is processed into natural rubber. So this is the machine that we are using for making the rubber sheets. This machine comes with two side. 
one side is very plain and the other side is coming with some design so guys we will see how rubber sheets are making using this machine and these are dishes for processing the latex so the first step in the process is filtering the rubber latex for removing the waste particles So after filtering the latex, each and every dish will get filled with equal amount of latex. So after filling the dishes with the latex, diluted formic acid will mix into the latex. So the formic acid diluted with water is added into the lattice for coagulating the latex. Latex coagulation is a time consuming process. So after mixing the acid, it will take 3 to 4 hours for coagulating the latex. So after 3 to 4 hours, now we can see the coagulated latex and we need to pass this latex through the machine for processing it. So while passing the latex through the machine, it will reduce the thickness of the latex. So we need to do it 3 to 4 times for reducing the thickness. And finally, now it is ready for passing through the side of the machine with the design. So now we can see the rubber sheet with the design. And the last and final phase of the process is drying the rubber sheet. So this is how farmers in Kerala are producing the natural rubber. So guys, what do you think about Kerala and its rubber plantation? Is it really beautiful? Hope you all enjoy the video. So guys, if you like the video, please subscribe the channel and uh, like, share, subscribe. So guys, let's see on another video with a new topic. So bye for now.